so the Woodrow Wilson Presidential Library has a long history. Wilson was born here in Stanton in 1856, and the reason that his presidential library is here in this small Virginia town is that his birthplace is maintained by the library. So we were opened in 1938. We were primarily opened by lots of support from the local community and spearheaded by former First Lady Edith Wilson. And we have since significantly grown. We started with just the home where he was born with a few displays of some artifacts from his life and have grown to encompass now, I believe it's six buildings here uh, in this little chunk of Stanton, a uh, library and archive where we're sitting uh, right now, as well as a full museum with lots of exhibits, including his Pierce Arrow limousine, a welcome center, and of course the, the house uh, itself, which is open for tours. Woodrow Wilson is the 20th President of the United States. He went into office from 1913 to 1921, and he had a very interesting legacy about him. I think Woodrow Wilson's presidency will be remembered most for the amount of change that was going on at that time, whether it's positive or negative change that's happening, but not only is this a president who was living through a war, dealing with uh, civil rights, women's rights, but also how to, how to garner the international concept. This is the first time that we're seen on an international stage as under Woodrow Wilson with what I would consider a, a failed international relationship because of things that came out of the Paris Peace Conference. When folks come to visit us here in Stanton, they'll get an opportunity to see the only holistic site that talks about Woodrow Wilson's life. Wilson was born here just before the Civil War. He only lives in this town for about 16 months, but uh, he then lived in Augusta, Georgia, in South Carolina, of course, at his time at Princeton uh, up in New Jersey. And there are a number of historic sites dedicated to Wilson up and down the East Coast. But we are the only one that tries to tell the full story from his birth, through his early life, his time as a professor, Professor, his time as governor of New Jersey, and of course, president of the United States. I want people to visit the museum because I want people to have a better understanding of Woodrow Wilson. I, I do think he is a very misunderstood president and a lot of people come in thinking they know what they, what they should know about Woodrow Wilson, but there's so much more to it. We spend this much time focusing on that period in American history, and I think that we as a site are a great place to learn, not just about him, but also kind of what's going on around him to have him make the decisions that he had to make as a president. And of course, Stanton is a wonderful place to visit. So it's, it's beautiful here, and I think everybody should come.